Okay, I'm going to do a really quick experiment here using um, <clears throat> um, a Floetrol type product. I don't have any Floetrol. I got this instead. It was a new one I was trying out. It's a latex extender. It's supposed to do the same thing. The 91% um, isopropyl alcohol and then the inexpensive paints because that's what I had on hand. Um, Anne Marie Ritterhoff just did a um, tutorial using Floetrol, alcohol, and golden paints. I'm not sure if she used some other, maybe Newton Windsor. And she gave credit to Danny Clark for coming up with the idea to just uh, use uh, Floetrol, alcohol, no torching, no silicone, and hopefully getting some really nice results. They did, for sure. Um, I'm trying it with what I have on hand. <clears throat> which obviously these are the lower end of Apple Barrel, pretty inexpensive from Walmart, same thing, Simply Acrylic, and the System 3. Those all come from <clears throat> Walmart, whatever, <clears throat> and they are um, just pretty inexpensive, and I know <clears throat> I live pretty far out, <clears throat> excuse me, I live pretty far out, pretty far away from a store where they actually sell paint. My town doesn't have one. We have to go for an art store, actually a Michaels or a Hobby Lobby. We have to go 55, 60 miles or have to order things online. Even Walmart is 30 miles away. So I wanted to do this experiment with just what I had on hand. And I know a lot of us use the, le the lower end products just because that's what we've got or that's what we can afford because we paint like crazy nuts. So I'm going to do the same thing she did. I mixed... Um, well, I don't know if it's exactly what she did, but I mixed equal parts of the latex extender and the paint. And then on the alcohol, I put, use the, um, this pipette and put half in each one. So we will just going to see how it's going to work. And I'm going to do it as a dirty pour, just like she did, or they did. So I'm just going to dump it all in here and then we will see what we get. So all that's in here is Floetrol and 91% alcohol. Not Floetrol, whatever, latex extender. So I'm going to put this in here. I'm just going to dump it all in there. All right, there's <clears throat> the white, and I just put some contrasting colors in here. Nothing spectacular. All right. I'm going to dump this in here. This one almost seems a little thin. I'm going to pour it in anyway. Oops. This is an experiment, so if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but it's not a big deal. I'm hoping that I get some, some pretty good results using these products because it sure would be nice. I just really would like for this latex extender to work because it's pretty inexpensive. And last but not least, purple pansy. And I'm going to pour it up high as well. So. Well, I guess she did a flip cup is what she did. So that's what I'm going to do as well as I'm going to do a flip cup. Grandkids sneaking around. <clears throat> so that's what I'm going to do also. So. Alright. Oops. My stick fell down behind. I'm just going to swirl this around a little bit. And here's my cup. And like. Let's see. Oh no. Okay. Let's let it sit. We never know what we're going to get. Um, all right, I think I'm going to pull it up. Kind of cool. It actually is doing pretty good. It's got some... <clears throat>
some cells popping. I'm going to turn this upside down on my paper because this is um, freezer paper. It's plastic and I can peel them right off. Big dip. Big, 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 big. Little kind of just kind of it's working as it sits. And I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and move it around a little bit, but I may just let it sit after that. Oh my goodness, actually. Pretty interesting. Just trying to control the flow on it. It's fixing to go over the edge, but I guess it's okay. I'm gonna let it go with the edge. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna go for it. I go for it. Well, there's definitely some stuff. But, like I say, I'm using cheap paints, whereas they used, you know, higher end paints here. I'm gonna let this sit. Oh, I should have put some cups down. Um, it still has stuff going on. I don't know if my color choices were the best, but I'm going to let this sit and we'll see if something develops. There's some big dips opening up in here. I'm going to put down for this so I can not hold it the whole time. A little bit on this edge here. Pretty cool. There is some lacing. There are some things going on. And like I said, I used I use the lowest end stuff pretty much you can get. This is a little cool. Oh, I've got all kinds of cells developed down the side. I feel like it's going to just keep going, keep doing things, but this is nice. So I'm going to turn it off and let this sit about five minutes or so. And then, oh my gosh, the sides are really, the sides not that side, but this other side really has a lot of, see now I took my gloves off, has a lot of uh, things happening, popping. There are some cells developing on this side as well. I wonder if I should tip it some more or just pick some of this up and stick it here. Pretty neat. It's almost like the thinner that it gets, the better that it gets. I'm kind of liking this too. I'm not so sure, sure about the colors I chose. I might do something different next time that way, but this is absolutely amazing. It's like, it looks like a little, looks like a little uh, asteroid or something. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to let this, I'm going to turn it off and let this sit about five or so minutes and then I'm going to come back and take some pictures of it. I'm going to take a picture of it now but then I'll come back as it develops.